Now you all know how much I love the German-built forts around the city of Metz. And the biggest one of these is the one we're going to go through today, just for the hell of it. It is a huge complex, most of it underground, and after the war, NATO moved in and set up a comms center. Of course, I'm going to go with my buddy, the curator of the neighboring fort, Fort Wagner. And it is still a military no-go area, so I'm sorry we can't fly a drone over and show you. But it is so overgrown you wouldn't see much more than trees anyway. Fort Joan of Arc is located 8 kilometers to the west of Metz. It was built for a garrison of 1,900 men and armed with six 100mm guns in two batteries, 650mm howitzers in two batteries, and four 70mm guns in casemates. There are four separate fortified barracks with underground galleries connecting the batteries, barracks, and the infantry positions. In addition, there's four bastion-like points to the north, south, east, and west that housed infantry strongpoints. Barbed wire entanglements were all covered by 77mm guns firing from counterscarp positions. The west point additionally had earthwork ramparts with a caponnier, and a total of seven reinforced barracks had a capacity of 2,580 troops. The construction had begun in 1899. Fort Joan of Arc was completed in 1908, and it saw no action during World War I, as Metz had remained well within the lines of Germany. The fort was initially the named Feste Point du Jour, but was renamed Feste Kaiserin on 12 May 1900. The fort was reinforced with concrete over original stoneworks that has been done between 1912 and 1914. Some of the original yellow stone remains visible on the face of the barracks, ornamented with elaborate reliefs. It really is something to see. Anyway, with the armistice of 1918, Lorraine was returned to France and the fort became French property. Some of the 100mm guns were sent up to the Thionville sector to back up the Maginot Line here as they fortified that area later in between the wars. Fort Joan of Arc was the headquarters of the French Third Army in 1940, but during the Battle of France, Metz was bypassed and encircled by German forces, with the Maginot Line and early fortifications seeing little action before the armistice in 1940. Then, in September 1944, the U.S. 5th and 9th Infantry Division of the 3rd Army approached Metz from the west. They encountered the western arc of the Metz defenses, including Fort Joan of Arc. The defensive of Metz was manned by the 462nd Volksgrenadier Division attached to the German 1st Army and Army Group G, with a total of about 9 to 10,000 combat-ready troops that occupied Metz, supported with several SS units. The combined fire of the forts stopped the American advance once initial contact had been made. An attack on the neighboring Fort Drian began 27 September was finally called off on 9 October after heavy U.S. casualties. After this check, a more patient strategy of encirclement and investment was pursued. An assault was opened by the 95th Infantry on 14 November, concentrating the interval between Fort Joan of Arc and Fort François de Goose which was occupied by a chain of smaller fortifications known as the Line of the Seven Dwarves. American forces were able to penetrate to the Moselle at 18 November, leaving a force behind to contain the forts. In the meantime, the surviving remnants of the 462nd Volksgrenadier consolidated the defensive line of Fort Joan of Arc at the end of November. There were still three forts holding out, and surrounded by the U.S. 2nd Infantry Division, and the Metz forts were gradually reduced through December. Fort Joan of Arc was the last to surrender on 13 December 1944. However, many of their soldiers had previously exfiltrated back to Germany and participated in the Battle of the Aden. Following the war, Fort Joan of Arc was selected to become a NATO control center for air defense operations, manned by Americans, Canadians, and French personnel, the site was designated Moselle Common Area Control and provided air traffic control for a portion of the northeastern France and adjoining areas of Luxembourg and West Germany, along with approach control of four U.S. Air Force bases as well as the flight plan services for the RCAF station Grotschen. 
The facility occupied casemates 3 and 4, with the interior of casemate 4 renovated to provide a two-level operations room. This we're going to go see as well. Work was largely financed by Canada, with a French contribution of 73 million francs. After French withdrawal from the NATO integrated command structure in 1967, the centre was operated solely by the French, and it was finally abandoned in 1990. So this was, some of this destruction was from the war? Yes, it's destroyed for the Second World War with uh, American combat. Oh wow, yeah. This was a repair? Yes, it was a repair, a uh, French army repair. Yeah, the one you have looks better at uh, Wagner. What way are we going? This yeah, way, though. Cool, uh, yeah. We go this way. This is the flotation. <laughs> repair or not repair, it's still leaking. There's one of cannon turrets. Yeah. Are there any of the guns still left here? Or did you... Uh, the gun is in, in the, um, the camp front and uh, the back there. Oh, good. You saved it. So the Kazan or uh, <coughs> powder? No, uh, Caponia. Capon oh, oh, that's Caponia. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, yes, this is the end of the... Uh... Oh, yeah. Details on the wallpaper. That's nice. Oh, there's a hole in the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Observatory after go. And this direction for Kazan. And you have to appreciate a fort that is so large you need a map to navigate it, even underground. All the tunnels are connecting all of the barracks and Kazans and firing positions in one large diamond shaped circle. We'll go with the circle. I always have to break the floors. Huh? <laughs> always have to break the floors. I don't know what kind of. Pipes running underground here while we're walking. This is the Kazan. This is the Kazan. Yes. When was this built? This. When was this built? Uh, before the Wagner fortification. Before Wagner? Yes, yes, yes. So oh, so this is older? Yeah. Oh, I had bathrooms. Yes, but yeah, but water closed. <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh, just for you. Of course. So this this is actually a nice staircase. Uh, two floors. That's actually a very nice staircase.
And just a reminder that there are holes falling. There's another one. Something you really do need to understand when you're doing this, if you're doing this. Or maybe you should let me do it. So this is built in red brick. This uh, is all red brick. Uh, ju no, just for the just for the kazan. Well, kazan and room. And this it's a uh, beton. This is. What a nice staircase. Look at this. Are we coming back this way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so we go back this way? No, uh, for... Uh, you know I can't just walk past the piece of stairs without walking up. I have to have a look. Oh, this is a gorgeous staircase. Well, the banister is anyway. Observation? Uh, no, uh, uh, extract for uh, uh, protection and uh, machine cover and uh, uh, parapet. Oh, okay, so, okay, so that's a... Uh... But this is the Kazan? Yeah. Okay. I'm just curious. And this, the H, these are new. Yeah, yeah, the numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, uh, From modern French Army. Yeah, French Army. Yeah. Or Air Force. Was it Air Force? Uh, well, yeah, the Air Force Army. Uh, Rock here in Tosses. Well, at least they had fresh air coming from the firing ports. All right, that's good. It's a destroyer. <laughs> But this is original, isn't it? No. This is the original wiring with new... I don't know. No, I think it's... Uh, that's new, that's original, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But, but these are new. No, uh, Second World War, I think it's because it's uh, back at it. Uh, no, uh, ah. First World War. Did the Germans use this during the Second World War? Uh, <coughs> just, I, I just uh, stay in, but not uh, rock in between. So they didn't do any. It's just another another factory. No, I don't. I don't know. Hmm. Don't 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 think the German army used the fortification for. Them. You gotta love wearing a fort. That's a big. He's addressing the map. Mm. <laughs> oh, I see metal on the floor. Shocking surprise. And you look on the roof. You have all the electri electrical wiring still here. Well, not the wiring, but we go on this one. I figured we would be. We're walking on stacks of metal, so of course we're going this way. <laughs> this is a position for a 77 gun. 77 uh, straight fire cannon? Yes, yes, yes. 
and in there was the 10.5 howitzer. Uh, well, we can. Seven kilometer. Oh. This tunnel is bigger than the old one, the other one. And it smells like shit. <laughs> oh, it's a... Any more... Oh, we're going through the hole? Yeah. Yeah, it does. It smells like dead animal, doesn't it? Yes. Uh -huh. That's what I thought it said. That's what I thought it smelled like. Oh, well. Any more die in? You take my bag off, I'm just... I'm just too lazy to do that. <laughs> I could, like I said, it's take okay. my bag <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I see we find dead Bambi in here somewhere. Wow. This is somewhat destroyed. Yeah. Was this from the war? The Second World War. It's a American uh, army destroyer because uh, they gonna shoot. Uh, you were shooting at them. That's yeah. a good. That's a good enough reason, I guess. Yeah. Machine cover position. Yeah, here. Yeah. Normally, I have a position with machine cover, and this is for open. Yeah. Is that one of the covering plates? Is that one of the armored plates? Yeah, it's a, it a, a projector or a, a, a second floor, I think. Seriously, what did they hit this thing with? Cannon or, an, or a bomb? What do you think? I uh, have um, American air bomb uh, destroyed yeah. the building. It's a bomber. Yeah, a bomber, yes. But so there's not that much rebar in, in here? Yeah, no rebar. <laughs> no re Ah, that'll do it. And this is a uh, projector. In somewhat better shape. A projector for That's a projector. <clears throat> this is a very large armor plate for one. It's a large armor plate, but it also has something that hit it very hastily. Here next to it, that door is completely shattered. Wow, this is interesting. Look at the wheels up there that had wires to hoist this up and down to close this for direct fire, which I think this is. Look at the shrapnel in here. This thing is This thing really was hit, hit hard. <clears throat> I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, there was fire in here. It's all suited up. There's almost a floor here. Yay. Sit down. 
uh, a fancy model of uh, observatory, and this normally uh, a foreign and acoustic, acoustic pipe. Oh well, yeah, he'll be up there calling down to the guys here. Yeah, it's uh, for destroy. <laughs> I'm always surprised that the acoustic pipes would work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Jesus. And uh, this inscription of uh, in some phrase. Oh, when was that? What does that say? The name of uh, one people stay in in uh, uh, 1911 and. Uh, and uh, 121. Uh, unfortunately, the regiment of Lothringen, I think, and uh, uh, par, par, uh, I don't know. But yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to read, but it's fun that it's here. Ventilation, not so much more. Yeah. <laughs> it had better days. Alright. This is. <clears throat> yeah. I haven't seen anything dead yet, but I know it's in here. These are so fascinating. Sorry. You find Bambi yet? Oh, there's an armored door. A hatch. It's a very system of. Yeah, this is sliding. Uh, yeah, for close the the window. Damn, it sticks in here. And all these broken bits of road we keep walking on. Yeah. If you ever wonder what they look like inside, well, they had some amount of rebar in them. Yeah, for the dollar, uh, is there a rebar inside? Yeah, yeah they, they were cast around a single air. It's just interest, interesting to see yeah. that they're not just a brick or a stone, there's something inside them. But I, I think you create in the uh, Germany and uh, go on. Uh, they sent them here? Yeah, I think it's a. Uh... Well, back then this was Germany. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, one way or another, they were made here. Yeah. <laughs> they were made in Germany, no matter how you twist and turn it. <laughs> Impacts here, and 
then there's bits and pieces sitting everywhere, which is, oh, speaking of impacts, <laughs> they were fighting for this one. And up here is the yellow top, top floor of built in yellow brick like we've seen so many times before. And after, the German army make a beton for uh, all the protection. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they, they betoned it up. Yeah, they cemented yeah. it up. In the second uh, floor, uh, second... Uh, yeah, you see the, see the impact up there. Yeah, it's an uh, American bomb. Yeah. Impact. Yeah, I mean, the whole wall is yeah, it, I think it's shut up. Uh, uh, American uh, MJ uh, during the Second World War, he tested uh, the... Oh, you think they tested on it as well? Yeah. And, uh, it's interesting because there's no, you can see that there's no rebar sticking out of this no, thing no at all. No rebar inside. Just uh, a baton and a rock of uh, German. It's hard not to find this extremely fascinating to see what they built here. All these forts, all these tunnels, and it, it is such a shame that they can't be turned into museums because they, they possibly could, but they would have to be made at least safe, and I don't think the terminology of handicap access would ever, well, ever apply, but then again it wouldn't to most military installations. Um, and that's why we're here, to sort of show what's here, because for one thing is for the French military, or in some cases the German military, like the border, Austrians, or to give these places up, that's one thing. And then to allow the public or some organization to make a museum, that's another, entirely. But the first step we make him Get, having them give them up and all the problems that's been ever since the near fatal accident a couple months ago certainly did not help on the part of the goodwill of the French military to allow access to these. So what are you going to do except document them best as you can and if any of you visit them be careful. And don't get hurt inside. If you get hurt, do it outside. <laughs> oh, there's a snake house. Ooh, bits and pieces. Lots of dark hallways. I really like this. And of course, a fortress that's named after. John Dock is, well, you gotta give that a little extra respect. She was a pretty damn tough cookie. This is the security door. <laughs> it's funny, you never know what bits and pieces you find. Well, and here. You know what, this is in pretty good shape. Yeah. There's a lot of bits and pieces up there. This is not in bad shape at all up here. Oh, it's a, a salamandra. Yeah. Rooch. I think we're gonna have to. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that little guy. He's it's a pretty. It's little a guy. very beautiful salamandra. Yeah. What does he eat in here? 
What does the sound of laundry? Flies? Look at this. Here you have the chains. That will turn around the platform. And here's... I'm sorry. Here's the folding platform. And up here for the observation. Now this is actually really good shape. Also, this really is in good shape up here. Do you uh, have any of this? Uh, yes, yes, yes. A model of Thorn, yes, yes. In Wagner, yes. Do you need any parts? Because everything is there. Yeah. In Wagner. Okay, I'm going to leave the little guy alone. Yeah. Stop over here. This is, I think it's a, a German material, a, mask, a gas, a gas mask. Oh yeah, for the, the yes. bag, the canister. Yes, yes, a second world war. That used to be around, and there's... What is that? What's the ring? Yes, I don't know, but... Yeah, that, that used to be the ring. That is the round canister, I guess. Yeah. It is. It's amazing the things you still find laying around. It really, really is amazing what you find. Under the staircase walkway for the pipes. Yeah. If the pipes had not been generally removed. It's a, 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 a water general evacuation. on this side. So I'll see you at the other end of this. Down another tunnel after the next observation turret here. Same as the one before. So this is a very large fort. And there's all ceramic light bits and pieces everywhere. back to where we started here at the battery. So let's have a little bit more select of the battery. Oh wow. Oh yeah. All the speaking pipes. These are to the guns for observation. Three guns. Three guns. Yes. This is battery out of the three guns. And then the drainage and water and everything underground. Yes, because not um, uh, 
the water stuck in the metal cistern, not a, a rock cistern. Oh, so you're going to be able to clean out the cistern so the water will flow. Yeah. That makes sense. This the French army freaked up after yes, the war. Yes, I think yes. Well, uh, no, this is the uh, German army closed. World War Two. Uh, no, I think the uh, First World War because okay. it's a uh, it's a uh, beautiful uh, German. Oh, uh, that's a real stone thing. Yes, yeah. it's for close and uh, window. Uh, they protect the light and the explosive. Uh, no, no. Um, it has cell with powder. Yeah. yeah. So the powder room's on the other side. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. Oh yes, and these were still loaded with yeah. they still had to be put together. These came in two pieces, the shells. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For protect because the powder and light it's dangerous. Yeah. So this is that. This is a stock uh fuse, uh shell. And this is a monchard left for uh, left the, oh, yeah, the, uh, the shell on, on the battery. I would say, uh, yeah, the counterweight and everything is there. Yeah. So yours looks in a little better shape. Yeah. The one you have. Uh, yeah. yeah, there was a little window stuck in there. On the other side. Oh, look at this nice hallway down here. Just mm. and this is a protection from uh, uh, sea lights. Uh, just uh, glasses or uh, grid. For oh, yeah, so there would be a light in there to yes. keep the powder room lit up without actually. Setting up, yeah. So, and this is so 18th century. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just the same. As a drop of water there. The shells were prepared. Yes, preparing shells. Oh, yes. I don't know why it surprises me that I just spent five seconds to a nice pan of really, really rotted wood. 
paneling and then I am surprised when it gives way when I try to hang on to it. <laughs> it must be my cuff that's dysfunctional. And, uh, and this is for close the light inside and uh, don't uh, touch the powder. And here you have the big ventilation without the handles that does no longer look so nice. This is a uh, uh, original oh, water. Yes. It's the toilet. Oh, yeah, toilet yes. And the officer gets his own this closed. The first generation of toilets. The German uh, engineer created two generations of toilets. This generation and the uh, Wagner generation. So which one? The one at Mutzig, was that, that was before this? Yeah. And then Wagner? Next generation uh, Wagner. And then this is the third generation toilets? Yes, yes, yes. So these were the most advanced toilets in World War I. <laughs> Seriously, I can only say as a soldier, going to the bathroom is a really important part of life. Uh, no, I know, I just uh, <laughs> uh, make uh, uh, cut toilets, just uh, wash uh, and uh, the visage uh, toilets. I would imagine for most civilians going to the bathroom is, is a rather important part of life too. But I, I don't know. I, I classify it being more important for soldiers to go to the bathroom, but yeah. <laughs> I guess it's one of those things we all do. But if you go poop next to Bambi out in the woods and you have to dig a hole and try to balance your toilet paper on a stick and you appreciate the small things by actually sitting down doing it. I'm just saying. We should do an episode about going to the bathroom through the history of uh, military life. And another hallway later. Ventilation. A lot of scrapper's been working here. And we're going this way. We are literally navigating the whole floor underground. And we have all of these laying around that I'm very fascinated with. Is this food? Or is like this insulation? I don't know because I look uh, before. I don't know what is it. I don't know what this is either. Yeah. I mean, I would say shoe polish, but <laughs> it's probably not. There are uh, one uh, uh, electric. Electric? Stuff. Yes. Uh, TNT? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe somebody out there will know and let us know. And then there's. Is bits and pieces. Electric system? Yeah. A kind of uh, electric system. And, uh, this is for uh, observatory, unfortunately uh, observatory, and this is uh, for big kazan, unfortunately uh, kazan classic. The big kazan? Yes. Alrighty then. And uh, this is local for the people working the observatory. Yeah, now you see the bigger shell pipes hanging up here. Alright. And on we go. At least it's not completely full of metal bits and pieces to walk on. It makes it a little easier. But since this is a bit of a rocking walk, I'm going to turn off the camera and I'll see you guys at the other end of this tunnel. Because by now, if you guys watching get the idea, there's a crap load of tunnels down here. Taking you up at the other end of the tunnel, coming up to the big, one of the big, uh, two big barracks here, two big casans. Through the traditionally half closed doors. Oh, this is a serious door. Yes, yes. But a modification of uh, the Second World War and things. 
I believe it. Hey, it moves. It's okay. Not much, but it moves. It's the same system of the machine rhino. It is. Do you think they are imaginal line forts the Germans took? Yeah. No. Why would they? They already they took over France. Why would they start rebuilding around Metz? Original system. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm look for uh, making a uh, Wagner. <laughs> yeah. That's so, cool. These parts. These parts. Yeah. It's little and after, um, I think so go go this way. Yeah. And Abri de Pique and after a uh, cough mm. with a uh, uh, little gun of. Uh, Hmm. Uh, MJ or we'll see. Shotgun, I don't say.
staircase. Uh, here's the door open. Yeah, yeah. And there are uh, Caponia with uh, MG position and things. This. The projector. This is the projector? Yeah, I think so, yes. It's a very small hole. Yeah. Hmm. Because I have a, a fusible for uh, connect the projector. Yeah. And then... And this is a prism for make the projector inside. Yeah, you're right. Just put in and light. And then pull the pull the armor door. Yes. And there's the counterweight for the door that is oh, it's dropped inside, but it's not there anymore. Oh, this oh, this has been blocked off then. Yes, yes. But this was blocked off. Uh, no, second no. wall. No, I was blocking the second wall more, but yeah. uh, this normally there are uh, uh, hallway position uh, 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 high. Yeah, rail. For close the door and uh, after inside make a uh, sable. Yeah. For protect. Just like uh, Maginot Line and uh, Belgian Forts. Yeah. Oh, there's the windows up there. I'm just gonna turn off the light and film the outside. Yeah. You gotta see where we are right now. Look at this gorgeous building. Oh wow, that is not a natural entrance. This looks so much different. You can sort of see how they just slapped a whole lot of cement outside. It's like the French wanted to do to protect them. Oh, what a beautiful cup in here. With quite a few holes in it. Quite a bit of damage. There's a big hole in that wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It boosts your food. Ah, 
Oh, here you can, here you can really see it. All right, take a look at this. Here you see where the original Yellowstone was, and then they just slapped on a bunch of cement outside for added protection. Here you really see. This is the upgrade. This is how they upgraded. Yeah, this is, uh, is it, but here you can see it. Here you can see from there, from the old stone to the cement. That's awesome. So what's down here? Okay, well, <laughs> if you don't know, then we have to go. I can make that rhyme, tell you what you're saying. Well, not a whole lot. What's up, stockage or shown stockage? There is a very low, very low to the floor. Yes, it's uh, for the uh, shower. Uh, Water system, water? No, no water, no water even, just uh, I think so. down there. Oh, what do you think? Basement? And as it was with many of these other captured or older forts, it was during the war used to manufacture and build various armaments. This also was the case here, and we'll see graffiti that was inscribed by several of the workers that left behind their memory. This really is a very large place and is really, really fascinating to see because there's so much of it still intact as it continued to be under military control and was therefore not really looted. Of course, the adjoining forts that surrounds this place have had the permission to take some of the cannons and domes so they could preserve some of the forts in private hands, or at least under private control, and therefore we have permission to enter. You may not be so lucky as it is still patrolled by the French military. This is a large kazam? Yes, kazam, big kazam. And the, the original system of kazam, uh, first time in the first generation. This looks like uh, just like the Kazan and Plabaville, just lower. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, the same uh, process of uh, Kazan. 
But this is lower, isn't it? No. Yes? Way new. <laughs> it looks nice and clean and new. Hmm, I see a hole there. More toilets. Ooh. Ooh. Huh? A gun. There was a gun here. There was a something, something with a heavy steel trap door that's sitting right there with a counterweight right there. This is a, a little gun of a 777. Seven, 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 yes. And, um, and the uh, steel door is there for the yeah, counterweight. Yeah. And it's open and close the door. <laughs> Don't have much of a feel of the fire today. Yes. And the gun of modification by the, the French army uh, in Wagner, you know, uh, 75 yeah. gun, and this model is this position uh, original. That's the original one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, um, <coughs> and uh, this building have a um, uh, Ukrainian uh, woman work for modification, uh, modif uh, 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 munition of uh, French army and uh, make a, a plane of the Air Force of uh, German Air Force. Oh, so the Ukrainian women worked here yeah, this during is, the war? Yes, during the Second World War. You could have a inscription in, in the water. Interesting. The second model of uh, the seven just cut the... Yeah. And for ventilation. That's interesting. And this is the toilet. Yep. <laughs> there are, uh, let's say, original plaques. And uh, this is the name of a postcard of Peppers. It's a woman. Uh, rights in the project. So these are the Ukrainian women? Uh, yes, I think so. Possibly, yeah. Well, it's hard for, it is hard to read. Oh. Because uh, I have uh, the drawer of the Ukrainian man's, uh, woman's in the building. So after the, after the Second World War, they were telling the French what they were doing here. Yeah. Do we know of any photos? Observation. Observation, yes. Yep. Oh, look at the wallpaper. For the gun. Yeah, of course, it had to be a lot bigger because it was a much bigger gun. Yeah. Such a pretty room. This is amazing what the decorations and things. It's close. <laughs> well, in that case. I was back the way we came from.
is fun to see and to think about. This was built after the Franco-Prussian Wars, then up to World War I, modified, modernized. Then after World War I, when the French got it back, they modernized it and modified it more. Then the Germans got it back in 1940, stuck people in here making musicians, and after that, 44, the Germans upgraded it furthermore. So, it is the place where you can literally do the joke that they have the signs in German on one side and French on the other. Wow. Here you really see where they get close and everything. Different color than the other. And here is the other view down the other ditch. Of course, it's been closed off with this. No, it's not, it hasn't been closed off with this once. Here. Here's some strange sounds. Oh, wow, here are two of them. Yeah. So these are firing down the ditch. The ditch, the yeah. grave, and yeah. the other one, the other, the other grave ditch. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well. And these could absolutely be restored if somebody needed them for their fort. <coughs> no doubt about that. Except the view needs a little bit of a trim out there. If any of you guys recognize a date, year, manufacture, anything on this thing, that would be kind of cool. I think it says LTT. Yeah. LTT. That doesn't tell you anything. Anyway, back down the hallway. So that would light up the ditch, and then the firing position for the outside. Just 
communication room since we have an observation door with a nice little panel and a bunch of crap on the floor. All the wood in the walls to hang stuff in. And another one that's seriously shut. And you can bar it with the hooks on the side for the pole so you can really bar this window. And these you can bar as well. Hooks for big bars on top of these and close them off. Just like we saw at Mutzig. And everywhere else, actually. How's it be? Once upon a time, we were down there. We started down here at the first utility barrack. And now we're going down underneath the moat. Where are we? <laughs> this is what scrap this is what scrappers leave behind. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Makes life hard for the rest of us. Navigate this place. However, as you, <laughs> as you have now clearly figured out, we're walking down to the hallway, so I will switch you off and see you at the other end. I tell you what, boy, it gets dark down here when the light comes off. So where we're going and up here it's another observation dome I came from down there it's hard to tell let's go see there's a dome up here these stairs are in really good shape I will say Things. And, uh, people yeah, find it, but extract, extract on the so the Germans would actually have moissans issued around Germany. Yeah, and this, uh, I think it's a, a, a mechanism of uh, of the two red brass, or bronze, brass? Yes. metal bronze. Oh yeah, yeah. Surprised nobody found and stole that. Yeah, the floor is missing up there. Can't restore everything, but still, I would like to. Parts of the terrace. What's that spring? No, it's not a spring. That's a tube. That's a metal tube. That's a tube. And you will all note 
the explorers had left that here and not taken it with them. So we're going to do exactly that same thing. I guess that's what you do. You leave the time capsules intact. And next tunnel down. See you guys on the other end of this hallway. In case you're wondering what we're actually walking on, this is generally a clearer, flatter path than any of the others we've seen lately. This is what I've considered a comfortable walk, um, honestly, which you might find surprising, but. This is more comfortable walking than when it's full of grass and water and broken. Well, I guess it's not really broken. Just letting you know why I'm not bouncing you with me through all of the just hallways. I see you found a hallway down here. What? I see you found a staircase. <laughs> I think it's uh, um, Observator tournant, this way. Huh. And things, uh, oh. this position, and the observatory turn this. I believe you. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a battery for 10 centimeters. So where is the main kazan? Is that way or that yeah, way? This uh, way? Kazan after. Big, yeah, big, okay. A big kazan, this, yeah. this way. So the, the one with... Uh, that, one, the, that one? That uh, one? This, yeah. So we are in here? Yeah. Okay, so we need to go keep yeah, that way. Yeah, so yeah. if you go this way? Yeah, this way, yeah. Okay. Uh, normally, uh, just turn around. That's where the water went. And this has been bricked up, as you can clearly tell, because there's a door. And somebody slightly opened it up for crawling. But we've gone this way to the big barracks. And that's exactly what we'll do. But on the way, There's another battery. So I'm standing on a broken pipe. And here's another broken pipe, just if you have any doubt as to what I'm saying. Oh, came from there. Another 10 centimeter battery with broken floors and pipes. And white stuff dripping. That's all right. Wow. This is another. Yeah, it's just another battery like uh, we've seen before. What I wanted to do is show you the outside. And on top of here, steel domes covered in grass. And here's, it's not a Caponier because, well, I guess it is. I'm gonna have that argue with myself. No, it's not. It is just a firing position that is defending the long side of the artillery barrack which we will have to go back into. Well, 
find someone shooting outside. Is there a shooting range around here? Yeah. Oh, good. That explains why somebody's shooting outside. natural light here. I almost feel I have to. Well, the cylinder is gone. Yeah. Yeah, you see, the dome is still in place, but everything's missing. Well, they left the chains. Well, you see, at least you can see here what the room looks like. Without the gun, and so here we bring the barrel up. And these these are cutouts for the barrel, so you can turn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get it up to where it used to be. I mean, guess sometimes seeing a naked room is kind of fun because you can see where everything goes. Down there. All right. Things really are rusty here. I need some of the firing positions we saw on outside. Nobody saw that, that was without any grace whatsoever. I don't see the pipe. This is a massive pipe running down here. But here's the other firing position we saw outside. This is a defensive position for close defense on the battery, which from the looks of it, actually it came to. Alright, the staircase, the tunnel to the main. <laughs> See the other end of that one. That shows uh, yes, uh, the uh, girl of the French army, I think. You think that's a, that's, oh, that's a girl shoe? Yeah, the girl shoes, yes. The girl came here and lost her shoes. <laughs> so down here's a battery. Yeah, because I went back here. And we came from down there. And up here is the Kazam. Yeah. Very cool. And here's clothing and stuff. And shoes. And... Hmm. There's a lot of strange things you find around here. Including what looks like World War II drums. To the firing position here. Much curious. Oh, that's why these curved. <laughs> these were the curved crates that would be here. And now we're scaling that. And I will see you on the other side of this stuff. You must have seen enough hallways by now. 
and you pull up all the plates and put them sideways. Just for the fitness part of this. I think. Yeah, shivers. Well, shivers are missing. It's a Nice colors. Nice outside. That is after, Shami, yeah. after the war, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is not exactly World War II. Clandestine bar for the French army. It's a prohibition bar. Is that what that is? Yeah, I'm seeing electronics here now. I see an old KDV. And this direction is for the. So they stuck a bar in here? Yeah, a bar, yeah. It's a and they bar. stuck a Good fireplace in here too. <laughs> Hang on, this is France. Did you ever have prohibition? Yeah, no, no prohibition. No. <laughs> okay, hang on now. Drink, drink, drink. Yeah. <laughs> in France, like, the French army and the little young in the college have a beer and wine authorization. <laughs> drink. Yes. Yeah, yeah, uh, drink. Uh, uh, 18 uh, years, yes. uh, in, in the uh, college, have a, a, a beer and wine. Same thing in, uh, same thing in Denmark, I think you drink at what, yeah. 18, 16? <laughs> and I think that's okay. Yeah. I think you should learn how to drink when you're 16, 15, 16, before you get a driver's license. Yeah. In America we do it all wrong. When you're 16, you get a car. When you're 18, you get a gun. And then when you're 21, you start to have to figure out how to hold your liquor. Doing it the wrong way around there. Uh, wow. For protect the access of the of the, of the building. Yeah, the the the, the, the ditch is down here and both on. For see, yeah, for not that you can see the ditch anymore. Oh, 
Oh, there's a shell that hit here. I just found the firing precisions in the bathroom. I love firing precisions in the bathroom. Nothing like crapping and shooting at the same time. Coming out both ends. So here's the gun and the surf light again. What was this, a 5.5? Yes. Oh yeah, there's the mount. That's a mount for it. Or what remains of the, what remains of the mount. and more fine positions. And this is for close the window with the glasses. It makes this position and yes. with glasses open the door and then the original lights uh, go on. Really? No, no uh, wind. Over oh, right, right, right. Oh yeah, because you had to, if it was cold and windy outside and you're, yeah. 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 A bunch of spools from the military. That I don't recognize. Because the bar. I have to see what's behind this nice door. Nothing. There's a staircase. Okay. And we came from there. It's, it's used for the French army. And uh, make all the modification in, uh, outside. Uh, this uh, you go uh, after you, after the war. Yeah, second, uh, after the second world war, yes. Yeah.
can screw the building out here. There's the original Kazan. Kazan number three, 1901. Well, it wasn't used by the French military longer than. Well, the German military, I guess. Of the workshop. Oh shit, yeah. Oh wow, yeah. Cold War listening post. Upgraded the ventilation, built little offices, insulated everything. So this they actually left here when they left. They left 21 years ago, so it's safe to say none of this is classified anymore, given the speed of technology. But this. Sort of is a nice thought. That there was a military using this after it was, shall we say, abandoned. That it didn't it didn't get abandoned and it lasted right off. It actually had a had a function for many years after the war. In fact, this had a function after several wars. Which is, I think, is a nice thought. Uh, wallpaper. They didn't paint it, they put up wallpaper. It's actually felt, so it's not wallpaper. I would say this have a sound insulating quality to it. Upstairs. Still, it's amazing after 20 years after this was being used, it's been decayed and taken apart and scrapped so much in such a short time. It is, after all, military property. And hang on, we need to go up. I think I'm sad. We have 
to go upstairs and have a look. See what they did up here. Show the heck of it. Wow. Yeah, it is, isn't it? This is the original part yeah. with, uh, <laughs> with the new parts. And a lot of safes. Yeah, these are the original doors. Yeah, it's a new bathroom, right? Yeah. People are sleeping in there all the time. Yeah, French soldier. Sleep in protection all the time. modification for electric and ventilation system. Yeah. And uh, after the second part of the caserne, it's modification for the uh, uh, group electrogen electric uh, system and uh, and the atelier and mechanic system. Normally, they are uh, chicken uh, local. Chicken? Yeah, for for the people. Eat. <laughs> oh, oh, back on the fort. Yeah, yeah. Not now. Not now. Uh, okay, just like the, the, Amer uh, the French soldier have a, a chicken, chicken farm. Uh, normally, there are. This is a building for the, the French army and the dog uh, stockage. Of course, yeah, dog, yeah. Is this original? Yeah. That's original. Yeah, it's original. That's original roof. Yeah, yeah. The French army uh, extract the uh, the turf uh, for uh, protect with uh, macadam. Uh, yeah. The uh, road and. Uh, All right, well, I guess we should go back in. Those original. Were original, yes, yeah. it's original. It's the second world, uh, first world war. And, uh, and look, this is uh, one observatory. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, we've seen these before. Being reused now here as vehicle shelters. And over here. It's an observation dome. That is original, where it's supposed to be. How cool is that? Oh yes. This is 
course, a modern building. Or what's left of it. Look at the original tile sticking out. And this was not reinforced by cement here at the large caserne yet. Banister is still as safe as ever. We don't call it a banister in America, do we? We call it a handrail. Don't we? Hmm. These are the modernized bathrooms for the French soldiers that lived here. This is just Time. Time fades all. And certainly paint. A little plate. Modern. Oh, this is oh, this is where we are. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, I think I have a uh, amiante uh, inside. Yeah. Yeah, they would have to have one room that would be uh, yeah. an operation center. And there's one step missing. Yeah, 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 yeah there was a raised floor, that's why. There's the floor, yeah. Ah, so. Acoustic. Yep. You have the yellow rock, the original stone, rock, the original stone here in the wall. And another staircase, I am now confused by. Oh, so the Kassan is divided up in two.
officially new. Well, it was new 20 years ago. Well, 30 years ago. Yeah. So this is what the modern ventilation looks like. Huh. I can't believe they just left it here. I can't believe they just left it. This is all. This is all new. Yeah, it's just. How did scrappers get in here? How did people to do metal scrapping come in here in the military area? Oh yeah, look at this. It. it doesn't look that much different than the old one. The tank is still there. You really would think they could use that somewhere back then when they left. Up there, case. So that's another Kassan up there. And we're going that way. Did you take us to the bathroom again? Yeah. <laughs> We're looking for a tunnel, aren't we? Oh, this is just a little. It's the modern. Uh, it's the modern, isn't it? Yeah, for the dog or security. Uh, Thank you. 
Oh, no, that's the kitchen. Yeah. That was connected straight to the barracks. Three generations of military served in this very place. Fun to think that three generations of military right. for three different countries. Right. Well, no, we're not two different. Well, the Americans were here for a short while, folks. So I guess that doesn't really. So two different countries. This is a very large artillery building. Two stories. Wow. That's, oh, it's a Kassan number two. I thought this was an artillery barrack. I guess that does explain it. Here's the firing position. So this is a little bit like what we've seen before. So this was definitely built and ready for both wars. And you see the cement outside the stones again. It's really interesting to see. The, the floor inside. Oh. The carry uh, a bit uh, the fluid carry. <laughs> <Shoot carry. coughs> uh, this direction battery of uh, mm -hmm. 50 centimeters and other battery and go out mm -hmm. this whole road. Okay. There's been a fire in here. If you want to see, no problem. Because um, little cousin, uh, just one floor. Upstairs. There's a freaky sign upstairs. Uh, ah, I don't and say. Well, there's something up. Not sure. Uh, 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 I see. Yes, yes. And, uh, oh.
Still had thick walls. Yeah. What was this for bringing in? Modification for um, uh, material and. Uh, Plus, you can see this is the, the new cement. This is the mod of the yeah, new. It's, a, it's a for a, a protect, a protect the building. That is so fun to see how they just put cement on the outside. Yeah, yeah. At least down below. The upstairs, not so much. And here, there must be something in there. This is very thick. I mean, the walls were still almost two meters thick, but it was brick and stone. And the barracks. This is like top of the classic barracks from the war. From World War One. Well pre-World War One. Well, I can we put a date on this from 1902. And this was finished. sections change color as well. Is that over the four years? Coming. That's an interesting pattern. On the little fireplace. They really did a lot with colors in these places, which is kind of cool. And they did the same thing in the master line to keep the soldiers' morale up. Because just seeing stone, gray, cement was demoralizing while colors and Patterns and tapestries were nice and would sort of liven up. What are these bedposts? It's a fresh, but this one. Oh, wow. What, was this a bedroom? Was this a casino? This was the. I think it's a second world war. Second world war. Or French army. This? What is this? For protection. Oh, for, to keep people from the painting? Yeah. I'm good with that. Yeah, look at this. Damn, I've seen this. Seen just destroyed, this is so sad. Oh, a beautiful painting they did here. They didn't put up a railing to protect it. I wonder if this was an exhibition hall or officer's mess or little museum in the barracks from the time. Unless we find somebody who was stationed here, I guess we will not know.
own choice. Oh, those are, oh, we're back to the shoes again. Yeah. <laughs> but this is where we are. <laughs> Great, now I know where we are. <laughs> what does the for fuel? The fuel container? Yes. So this can be another one, another one, another one. This is where the machine room was. Yeah, the machine, yeah. The original machine. The original, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's the original machine. All right. Get the camera out of the dripping crap. For some people known as water. Wow, this is fun. All right. Use both hands on this one. On top of the rotted wood. Yes, this is the original machine. All right, now I've got a decent stripe. Was this just the machine room for this caserne or for the entire? See how thick this is. Oh, there's a door. And, uh, that this is a modification after the build because of the model of a door. Yeah. It's uh, the second floor, uh, second part of the fortification of mess. Yeah, uh, one box, it's the same uh, door and uh, build after this, this fortification. So this is post World War One. Yes, uh, just before uh, the First World War. Just before the First World War, so this is still German. Yes. Yeah, there's a something going on there. Fine bolts. Now we're back at the red brick. No, no, we're back at the yellow brick. Okay. And uh, 
uh, a power of a caponier for protect the access of the building yeah. and the door. This is a uh, uh, water toilet. Can up there. Little model. Little model? Yes, it's a, a, a two, two uh, three meter and uh, the battery of ten centimeter. It's uh, oh, so this is ten centimeter. Yeah. That's a good one. Oh, the gun's still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. See if the commander's floor here has nice, nice parquet floors. I want to see if the commander's office have nice floors. Yeah. <laughs> There's another gun. And judging from the light coming through there, it's missing. Very, very destroyed. Yeah. Yes. This really is. Uh, Are the guns missing? Yeah, it's a... Uh, the model is a uh, right there. Ah. Uh, safety doors. I mean, hopefully it's sitting in another fort somewhere. themselves. It's nice when you start figuring out what the layout is. You even have the metal stuff down here. You're going to scrap some things. Just scrap it and take everything with you. Oh wow. This is the original for make the, um, the duty inside. Surprised nobody got that out of here. Yeah. It weighs less than the cannon. That's a hell of a ventilation pump there. Was that a stove here? Yeah, it's got a, a mechanism for change on the terrain. It's a, for the tube. Oh, yeah. You move the tube. That shouldn't be here. Yeah, it's that should a, be up there, right? New accessory. Uh huh. Oh, I think we're going this way. We are going this way. Hmm. All right. 
down into the tunnels again. Yay. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to spare you all from this. With a pump, extract the water for, uh, for the material inside. Yeah, it's very dangerous. Yeah. And uh, that is original uh, green work for just a. Uh, it is. Yeah, it's original. Like original. Except when we walk on pipes, yeah. they could be reinforced a little bit. Oh, this is fine. <laughs> All right then. Nothing gained. Whole fucking dome busy. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a to ride on the on the battery of uh, Oh. Yeah. Oh, the, you took this. No, let's close the door. <laughs> and now it's complicated uh, to. Uh, how did you get that out? Yeah. How? Uh, yeah. On a truck and a crane? How did you get it? Anyway, but uh, I don't have a, a truck uh, at the moment, and uh, now. Uh, now, probably. It's yeah. not, not possible. <laughs> This really was a well fortified and defended place. And here's an outside. This is where we came in. I'm canning. This is where we came in, right? Yes. It's a German. Uh, they are. A German uh, Dutch. Yeah, this is World War Two. Yes, yes, yes. Water or... Uh, and here they came to die. That's... That's such a shame. Survived all these years of the war just to sit here and disintegrate. And that. Tree falling on the poor Muppet. Ah, center there. That's one of the cannons missing, and the far one is still there. Let's see about this. If it's still here. I haven't seen that before. Missing here too. Mm. 
Huh. Only three. Is it 150? Yeah. Yeah, short. Uh, this was actually shot at. Ah, not, I don't think it's a, a, a club. It's a project. project. Yeah. The, the shell. Of... This this is fire. This is from enemy fire. Yeah. Yeah. This this really did damage the uh, the muscle. That would have been a bad day trying to fire something out through there. I think this even looks like. I know there's a hole inside of one of these, and you can sort of see how the shrapnel is balled up from this. I wonder if they survived whoever was in here when that happened. Yeah. Yes, lightning storms are bad for just, large pieces of metal. Just. <laughs> this really was an amazing place, and it was by far one of the largest forts we've seen independently of the Machinot line. And I probably will be coming back here because all these places need to be seen a couple of times to really take it all in. But for now, there's a lot more forts, bunkers, and underground fighting positions I need to show you. It's a great place to crawl through, which I will now do. One of the one of the things about this is you have to watch where you're going, come in and out. See all the poles with the barbed wire. And sometimes in between there are these very small spikes very low to the ground. Tripping over them is not the worry. Tripping in front of them is a much bigger problem. See? It's like an asparagus field. They're just everywhere. Really cool place. I always wanted to see it. Because, well, at least it was named after an amazing lady. Well, at least the French named it after an amazing lady. This was a very large artillery fort. I hope you enjoyed it. Because <laughs> it was a bit of a thing crawling through those. But for those of you who can't come, well, there it is. Now you can take the virtual tour. Behind me is Vanna von Braun's first test stand. Down the road is Diebmas nuclear reactor. Over there is the Maginot Line and all its amazing forts. I'm visiting them all and I'm bringing them to you. So I really appreciate you like, follow and share what I'm doing trying to document all these important historical locations. And if you feel like you want to watch more pictures or documents that are used for these, go to lostbattlefields.com. And if you feel like helping me out with my travels, because gasoline and travel and air for you is expensive, uh, my PayPal is there, protectionserviceint.com. You are more than welcome, but you don't have to. I appreciate all your support and all your help, and I love seeing these locations, and I love bringing them to you.